my little stitches in time and internet people. So a little while ago I asked you, what is the whip? Hmm. I must say I had a heck of a time with it purely because the yarn that was chosen um, was actually too thick. It was quite a chunky um, weight and I had made the full project and just about to tie off and I went it's just not going to work. So for the first time in about three years I frogged. I'm not happy with myself but after frogging, a lot of frogging, I halved the yarn which was a pain in the bottom. I had to split it in two which thankfully it was only twisted in two um, so that was something but because I live in a bungalow there was no way I could get enough gravity to do a great deal all at once. So approximately three meters at a time I split it and it was twisting and it was knotting and it was engaging with itself so much um, it was ridiculous. So a project that would normally take me a couple of hours actually took me well it's approximately 14 <laughs> but it's done and here I go I'm going on and on and on what was it what did I make I can't wear this one because this one is Can I do it with one hand? Probably not. Give me a second. Give me a second. Turn it up. It's a little newborn hat. So I left the thickness of the yarn to do the pom-pom. I didn't split that. But I made a newborn baby hat. And to go with it, Two little scratch mitts. Ah, so there we have. It's not brilliant, and I apologise, but it's not very light in my house. And this is the closest you're going to get to light. But anyway, here we go with a newborn baby hat and scratch mitts. Did you get it right? 